Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. I've got some really fascinating news for you today. You've already seen the interior shot that Toyota gave us a little while ago, but for the first time, we have an actual interior scoop or spy photo that was just taken yesterday in Colorado. So this gives us a full access to what the Tundra's interior looks like for the first time. Now before we jump into the interior shots, let me give you a refresher of what we have seen so far in terms of the exterior of the Tundra. So this is the TRD Pro with uh, three marker lights indicating it's a wide format. And this is the official photo from Toyota, but I've placed it into a scenic background so that it looks more realistic. So this is a TRD Pro and then from there I created other rendering which Toyota has not shown us. So this is the Platinum version indicating a different kind of grille in the front with a large blue emblem which means that this is the hybrid version of the Tundra. And I made the grille kind of aluminum satin finish which is different from TRD Pro with a 20 inch wheels. And then uh, this is the limited model I've also created as a render which has a bright chrome design in the front. So it has a chrome look all around and then I also made sure that uh, there's other differences such as the blacked out lower trim in the front section and a different kind of 20 inch wheels on this limited model. The next model is the TRD Off-Road, one of the most popular model in the Tundra lineup. And this one is quite different from the previous two models I just showed you. I still have the uh, chrome looking uh, grille in the front, uh, but the wheels are different. These are 18 inch off-roading type uh, wheels and tire. Uh, and then there's some other cosmetic changes I made throughout the model. Uh, finally, this is the latest one I did. This is the uh, trail edition of the Tundra. And I've integrated a very different looking front grille from the other models. So those ones had a kind of a honeycomb design. This one has a slightly different uh, look and feel, a little bit more like the Tacoma front grille. And it has a lower lip design that's also different. And the wheels are and tires are 18 inch still, um, but all blacked out. So let's now move into the interior of the Tundra. This is the official photo Toda showed us a little while ago. And he has some interesting things like the red mark on the top of the steering, which is uh, sort of indicative of a sports car normally. And there is a grab handles on a pillar, both the driver and passenger side. And then this one is a top of line TRD Pro. So it has the large 12.3 inches uh, infotainment system uh, with what I think is uh, ventilation to the left and right of it, which you can't see. Uh, but I'm going to begin to create a full render for this TRD Pro interior, um, but uh, we are very fortunate because we got to see a um, different version of the Tundra interior today and that's the one I'm going to talk about. Now if you also recall uh, Toyota showed us this uh, interior photo which indicate um, rear powered window and a huge moon roof or sky roof and uh, that would be uh, also a really amazing feature to have in the TRD Pro. Which brings us to this spy photo that was sent to me just uh, literally today, this afternoon. And it's uh, the actual interior of the 2022 Tundra for the first time. It's got some really interesting design like this uh, uh, ventilation that's part of a design flanked to the left and right of the infotainment system. Now this is either a mid-level or possibly one of the lower entry models because it doesn't have the large 12.3 inches screen that we saw in the earlier uh, photo from Toyota and it's hard to see but the instrument cluster is not fully digital either uh, there's an actual analog um, tachometer and speedometer and in the center section there should be a digital portion of it uh, now there is also HVAC or air conditioning control right here, which we can see, I'll talk about that in, in a second, and there's a temperature showing there. Uh, and uh, below that, there are some audio controls as well. I'm going to show you uh, a photo that's a little bit uh, closer up, so I can explain these things to you uh, shortly. But you can see that uh, these buttons follow the similar uh, sequence as what we have seen in the Land Cruiser 300 series. So these are like volume up, volume down. 
so you can scan buttons and the menu button should be there as well. So quite a busy uh, instrumentation and cluster here, but well placed and I'm just really happy that they're real buttons uh, and not, not all digital format. So this is again a lower entry level perhaps, uh, but uh, the rest of the dash again is hidden here, uh, but you can see the aluminum look finish carries over to the right side and there uh, should be a glove compartment underneath. Here's another angle of the same interior. You can again see the um, audio control buttons a little bit uh, better here uh, and a slightly different angle. So again, it shows you the size of infotainment system is likely eight or nine inches, which should be either entry level or mid level models. Here's a, a close up shot of the infotainment system and some of the buttons. Uh, some of these uh, logos are standard fair Toyota. Uh, showing HD radio and uh, Sirius uh, radio uh, logos in there. Uh, again, this is a smaller screen. But if you look carefully, you can tell that uh, there's a whole new software uh, matched to a new hardware. Uh, this is a new design. This is kind of in-house work by Toyota, specifically by a subsidiary of Toyota called the Toyota Connected. So you can see the evidence of the new design, uh, the grid, the menu functions, uh, all that have uh, been completely overhauled. It should be much more user friendly because the current version is reasonably okay, but it's pretty outdated. So this brand new system promises to bring a lot more technology uh, features and uh, it should be also intuitive to use. Again, thankfully, we still get a button for volume control on the left side. I always complain that these buttons are very small. I don't know why they don't use like the buttons in the RAV4, which is much larger and easier to use. But anyway, uh, there's a temperature uh, indicator here. So it looks like this is going to be the driver passenger uh, control buttons and in the center is the uh, fan control. But it's only showing one temperature. So either the driver and the passenger side is synchronized or this entry level Tundra doesn't have a dual temperature control. The USB is on the right, although this looks kind of weird. The shape is strange, but again, this is a prototype, so anything can, uh, can happen in a prototype. And then there's a whole bunch of rows of buttons right underneath, which are for auto, off, uh, defroster in the rear, defroster for the outside mirrors, and then there's also the fresh air intake or recirculating air intake. So those are the buttons uh, that are for all climate controls. Now this is the Land Cruiser 300 interior and the reason why I'm showing you this is that uh, this 12.3 inches in the flagship Land Cruiser will be identical or very similar to the one that will be in the Tundra TRD Pro and the Platinum or Limited models which will all have 12.3 um, inches. So I want to show you uh, this one because it's different from what we've been seeing in the spy photo because those are 8 or 9 inches. Uh, now the ventilation are a little bit different and the way that the HVAC and the audio controls in the Land Cruiser are different somewhat, but the functionality will be very similar to what uh, are going to be in the Tundra. So if we study the Land Cruiser interior a little bit more, we will also get a better understanding of the, um, the Tundra TRD Pro or the Platinum interior because the buttons and the functionality for HVAC and audio control will be similar um, and uh, the digital a cluster or rather the semi-digital cluster of the of the instrument would also be very similar as a Land Cruiser. Based on the spy photos we've seen, the steering wheel design should be similar to Land Cruiser as well because Toyota has standardized that, but with a TRD Pro you get a little red mark in the top of the steering which is a really nice uh, touch to make it look uh, more racy and sporty. Um, the door controls uh, would be similar but a bit different from the Land Cruiser because the entire door design would be different between the Land Cruiser and Tundra. And just like in Tundra, this Land Cruiser have the uh, eight pillar grab handles. Now here is a close up shot of the Land Cruiser's 12.3 inches uh, navigation and also the rest of the controls can be seen. Now you'll see on the driver's side there is a thumbprint or finger, a fingerprint uh, activated uh, starter for the engine. So it will actually read your fingerprint and start the engine for you. I don't think we're going to get that in the Tundra. Who knows, we might but it's likely exclusive to Land Cruiser or perhaps Lexus model in the future. You can also see the temperature control for even the seats, such as the ventilation and the cooling and heating are all there as well. 
and then right below the HVAC control are the audio controls. So here again, this is a Land Cruiser 300. You have volume up and down, and then power button, of the map, menu, audio, home button, setup, and seek and track. Uh, and this one has a JBL system. Now, because the Tanjiro has an actual knob for volume control, that will be a little bit different. But rest of the things like the mode select and the gear shift uh, design might be similar to the Tundra. Now going back to the spy photo for the Tundra, you can't see the passenger side very well. It's quite, uh, quite hidden here, uh, but uh, there will be some kind of aluminum trim that goes all the way uh, in front of the passenger side and of course a large glove compartment uh, below that. And uh, so comparing that to the TRD Pro interior, uh, once again, this one is showing the large 12.3 inches uh, infotainment system. Uh, you can see that uh, while the design will be somewhat different between the entry level model and this one, uh, they will both share similar design themes. So I'm going to work on that uh, over the next little while and create a full render for the interior of the Tundra TRD Pro. So give me a, a bit of a time to work on it now that we have seen the uh, at least one variation of the interior of the Tundra. Now finally, I want to show you these uh, two spy photos of the Tundra. Now I know it's a bit strange because they're fully covered up, but what I want to show you is that uh, because these were taken yesterday in Colorado, it's probably pretty close to the actual production model. And you can see the kind of predator steps, uh, which looks kind of like aftermarket, but if you look closely, they're integrated into the Tundra. So that's something a little bit different from before, and it's kind of exciting to see that uh, Toyota will offer the predator steps that are well integrated into the body and also if you look at this uh, Tundra it's the longer bed version combined with the crew cab uh, with the full four-door um, model so I'm thinking that the crew model or crew max model might offer the longer six-foot bed which is something that people have been asking for. Uh, here again, you can see the uh, Predator steps uh, completely integrated with the body. Uh, and then there's also the exhaust tip, which is going to be on both the driver and the passenger side. And then tailgate, uh, you can see the little bit of the multifunctional tailgate um, grab handle there. Uh, so this is fully covered, but it gives you some clue. Uh, and of course, there's a six lug nuts wheels there. So other than that, it's pretty standard fare. Uh, there are uh, coil springs in the rear, which you can't really see from the photo. Uh, but the rest of the features of the Tundra, of course, we have been talking about for a while, so it's not a news anymore. Uh, so that's all I have for now. Lots of interesting uh, features you can gather from these spy photos, especially the interior. So really excited. And of course, in about a week or so, Toyota should release another um, photo or a teaser photo of uh, what's coming ahead with the Tundra because it looks like they're showing something to us every two weeks. So hopefully Toyota will show us a little bit more photos and uh, features as we get closer and closer to the uh, official announcement, which should be mid-September to late September. So that's it for now. Signing off. Thank you so much for watching.